Hello everyone and welcome to the class. This is David A. Cox with PCClassesOnline.com and today I'm going to be teaching you how to create nested folders within iOS 8. Now, uh, please forgive me, I normally appear in our videos. I'm not going to do that today because I'm fighting a bit of a cold and not exactly looking my prettiest. So we're just going to get straight to it today. So the way you do this, it's all about timing. You have to be able to do this very quickly. So a nested folder is just essentially a folder within a folder. So what we're going to do is the first thing you have to do is create the folder of nested apps. So in other words, what is going to live within another folder? So what I'm going to do here just to demonstrate it is if you look towards the bottom of my iPhone, we have this little folder here called finance, which has a few, you know, bill paying apps, etc. And then at the bottom beneath that, we have Evernote and Square Register. I'm going to create a folder. We'll just say it's business. And in the first hierarchy, the first folder, we're going to have Evernote and Square Register. And then within that, we're going to have another folder where you're going to see the finance apps are going to come in. Again, you have to be able to do this quickly, otherwise it won't work. There is no harm in doing what I'm about to show you. It is completely reversible. So let's get started. You're going to press and hold on any app just as you normally would to create a folder. And what's going to happen is you're going to uh, in this case, I'm going to drag Evernote into register, and as soon as I do that, I have to grab finance and drag that in as well. Again, it's all about timing, and you have very, very little time to do this. So let's see if I can do it perfect on the first try. Sometimes I've tried this, and I've had to do it twice. So I'm going to drag it in. Oops. Grab the... Nope, I was too slow. So let's try it again. Take two. Okay. Drag one into the other. Come on. Got it. Just like that. Now, some of you may be wondering, well, what happens when you go into finance? Well, it's just like going into any other folder. If you want to go back a screen to go into the other folder, just tap outside of that box that you see there. And it'll go back a folder to business. Tap again, and you go back to your home screen. That's all. This is David A. Cox with PCClassesOnline.com. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you're watching us on YouTube, of course, we appreciate it if you click that little like button. And you can find all of our tutorials on PCClassesOnline.com. That's all, everyone. Take care.